fragments of a meteor spotted over South Texas last Wednesday have now been found after an exhausting search. Ken's 5 meteorologist Jeremy Baker has the details on the big find after hearing the big boom. First, let's make something very clear. A meteor is a fireball in the sky that never reaches the ground. A meteorite is when a meteor or parts of a meteor make it all the way to the ground. Now that fragments have been found from last week's meteor, it's now called a meteorite. But it made a very significant boom, and that really correlates to the mass of the object. Three days after the sonic boom and the shaking of the ground, the first fragment of the meteorite was found and recovered not far from the southern tip of Texas near El Siles, Texas, on private property by planetary science researcher Robert Ward of Prescott, Arizona. So how big was it and what's it made of? What is called an ordinary chondrite, okay? And it, they call it an ordinary just because 90%, roughly 85% of all meteorites are this ordinary chondrite. And this one is pretty close to the size that was first found in Texas. The American Meteor Society says three meteorite falls were recovered in three consecutive days. First on the 13th of February, when asteroid 2023 CX-1 disintegrated as a fireball over the coast of Normandy. On the 14th, dozens of reports of a fireball over southern Italy were received, and it was aptly named the Valentine's Day meteorite. And finally, the one in South Texas on the 15th that NASA says was 1,000 pounds, traveling at 27,000 miles per hour. And February 15th seems to be a popular date for meteors. In 2009, the town of West Texas was rocked by the sound of a meteorite. Many of us have seen videos of the house-sized Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia blowing up in the air. <laughs> and now the one in South Texas. Could they be related? Space is big. There's tons of stuff in space, tons of asteroids, tons of meteors. So it's, you can't definitively say these things are all related necessarily. Hanke also told us that fragments are not radioactive and belong to the property owner if they are found on private property or the person searching for them as long as the property owner gave them permission to do so. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5.